everybody we have a really special project today a project that i put everything that i had at the time into every bit of myself into a friend of mine a really good friend of mine named majestic pale came to me and he said it's almost kazoo the incubus's birthday and i want to do something really really special for her and so he had the idea that he had a DS capture card he wanted me to customize and uh, not only customize it, but customize it in a way that perfectly suits who Kaz is as a person and her style. And I think we did a really good job at that. So this is the custom DS capture card for Kazu the Incubus. Let's get into it. So to start out, before we paint anything, I gotta take all of the parts out of the shell. This is really complicated. It took quite some time. If you're gonna try this, then definitely be very careful with the ribbon cable that goes up to the top screen. And I'm just removing all the extra little bits so that there's nothing in the way of our paint. Now, Kazu the Incubus's favorite color is pink. If you know anything about Kaz, is that she's obsessed with pink. This is the first Nintendo DS that I've ever spray painted, so I didn't know 100% uh, what to do. I did a little bit of research, but I ended up taking the same approach that I do to painting a uh, Nintendo GameCube, which is just sand it, hit it with the plastic primer, and then get a nice layer of spray paint on it, a bunch of thin layers. Um, and the frozen strawberry pink, I think, is a really good shade. Me and Majestic Pal had kind of leveraged some information out of uh, Kaz and VC, like looking at some pinks. It's like, oh, well, which one of these would you prefer, Kaz? And then, you know, kind of get some information that way. And uh, on a, a lot of her art, she does clouds um, with stars and stuff like that, kind of Kirby style. So uh, I decided we would do clouds along the bottom of all the parts of it. And her favorite Pokemon's Jirachi, and she also is obsessed with Chows. So I did um, on. The design, I did the one Chow as her, the uh, angel Chaos Chow, and then the neutral Chaos Chow. For me, it was meant to represent uh, Majestic Pal. I don't think I ever really mentioned that, but in the design, that's what I had in mind. So the one on the left is Kaz, the one on the right is Pal. <laughs> um, and for the bottom screen, I went in with the rainbow just because the bottom screen, I think the paint is more likely to smear. So I felt if I did the rainbow on the bottom screen, it would fill a lot of space and it would be effective. But if it smears a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then I'm going over all the white parts of the clouds with a brush and we're using a metallic pearl white. That just makes it a little more heavenly, you know, it's like light is hitting the clouds. They look a little more golden. It's like a golden white, you know, very majestic, very pale. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, gang. Um, for the rainbow, I just lay in each color with the uh, Posca pens, and that's like our base layer. And then later, we'll go in with color shift paints on every single one. And in that step, I try to kind of blend the paints together, like red into the orange, into the yellow, into the green, just so it's a little more flowing. And we also try to crisp up the lines a little bit, but that's really hard to do, honestly. Like, it's already on there, so that's pretty hard to do. And as we're going to, I'm constantly touching up stuff between all these shots. So you might not see it, but sometimes I have to go in with the white for the cloud and reshape it a little bit if one of my other colors bleeds in. Um, and yeah, we're just going in with all our color shift paints now. There's always going to be multiple layers of paint in any project like this, so even if I only show one, 
just know that it's more like three or four layers uh, for any color to get a even distribution of paint on the whole thing. So in a lot of Kirby games and also in a lot of Kaz's art, she'll draw these little stars like kind of coming off of the clouds and they accent the clouds in a really nice way. And I've never tried that, so I was like, you know what? That'll be cool as hell, put some stars on there. <laughs> some of the stars are perfect star shapes and then the ones that are further away, they're closer to being circles than stars because that implies depth a little bit. Um, for the chows here, you can kind of see what I'm doing, but all the shadows of the uh, of the chows have darker colors, and then around wherever there's going to be pink inside of the white, there's also pink on the outline. So, like, I'm kind of giving it a pink glow. It, it'll accentuate the details that we're adding later. I really wanted to do like hieroglyphic, like really just perfect side view on these because I thought it was like very symbolic. It's a symbolic statement I was trying to make and so I made them into symbols, you know. So during this phase, I'm blending the colors out from like the tip of the ears it's light it's dark blue and then we got to blend it out to light blue and I think the same thing is happening a little bit with the pink as we're drawing these 2d symbols I felt that it was really necessary to show the uh, actual shading in the outlines a bit more than I would in a normal project and so I really stylized those in a specific way but I thought that it would be cool and unique and the kind of thing that Kaz would like. And whenever I come in with these stars over the rainbow, they, they are stylish for sure. But as I'm going, wherever there's something that doesn't look right, I'll maybe add a star over it or something. Uh, that's always the worst. I made a little friggin' mistake there. Now you gotta try to friggin' wipe the paint off and everything. Yeah, so I have the Chaos Emeralds rotating around them like they're supersonic, uh, or whatever. I know that there's only like seven Chaos Emeralds and I drew eight, so <laughs> suck it, nerds. <laughs> uh, for each of the individual designs, I actually drew them on paper, prior, or digitally, and finalized the designs before I put them onto the plastic. Um, the thing that's really hard is that since I am working with Posca pens and it's on a plastic surface, um, you know, it's a lot harder to draw, and especially with the Posca pens, it's like drawing with a child's marker. Uh, instead of, you know, a fine, you know, a fine pen or something like that. So there were a lot of challenges with this one. The Jirachi, for example, didn't turn out perfectly exactly as how I had planned. Because by the time I did the inline and then I outlined it, um, and, you know, adding lighting, all that stuff, it just got a little thicker than I had intended. Going in with some of the uh, spray paint, to touch up the areas where I've messed up and now we're adding the color in for the chaos emeralds that are rotating around the chest. 
since these are really detailed shows and they're also really small, whenever I'm doing these Chaos Emeralds, I need to put down little splotches that imply the shape of the emerald, and then I'm putting little spots of white on top of them, just tiny spots, and those imply the lighting angle and everything. So for the Chaos Emeralds, I couldn't do much detail, they would just get too big. So I had to kind of think the same way that I do when I'm sculpting something really, really, really tiny. You know, it's like, from a short distance, you know, if you're looking right at it, you'll see some problems with it maybe. If you have your face right up to it, then maybe it won't look perfect. But if you bring it back uh, maybe a foot away from your face, then it looks really, really good. And so that was kind of what I aimed for with those Chaos Emeralds. And with the, Ch with the Jirachi, I just really wanted to make it look super awesome because it's Kaz's favorite Pokemon. Um, so I just tried to do something that I thought she would really like and something kind of, it's still my own style, but something similar to maybe something she would draw also. So I'm just using white to kind of edge out the shape of these little hangy boys and then once they're uh, once that's dry I can draw the shapes over it I'm trying to let a little bit of that white peak Decided to go in with some blue and pink stars over top of our textury cloud color at the top because I think that on that white background those colors are really going to pop and Jirachi also has both of those colors in it so that's like our general color scheme pink white blue beautiful now that the paint job's done I tape everything down and we give it a nice spray with some clear uh, paint just to protect it now I wish I could say I didn't have any problems during this step, but I did. Once I got it together, the uh, ribbon cable actually was messed up, and then I took a different DS I had, took it apart, used it <coughs> for parts to try to repair this, and I couldn't. So um, Majestic Pale actually ended up sending it to Poi to repair it, so thank you Poi. Um, he pretty much put in a new ribbon cable and got everything ready to go. Then we shipped it to Kazu the Incubus. 
Thank you everyone for watching. I'm really glad with how this turned out. I learned a lot making this. There were, you know, there were some trials and tribulations. It was really hard. I made some mistakes, but I'm so proud of it still. And I came a long way with this project. Thank you everyone for sharing this experience with me. I always have my commissions open. I mainly do custom game cubes and sculptures, but I can do pretty much anything custom, consoles, controllers, etc. Thank you. Peace out.